After the blast, uh, uh, 23 uh, patients were seen in the uh, beginning in the emergency ward. Uh, uh, four of those patients were uh, uh, observed over time and released from the emergency ward. Uh, uh, of the 19 patients that were admitted, 16 uh, received emergent operations within the first 18 hours uh, and remain hospitalized at this time. Um, 19 patients uh, <coughs> were uh, uh, remain hospitalized over the next 24 hours. Uh, at that point, uh, we considered 10 of them critical, uh, three serious, and, and six were in, considered in fair uh, condition. We uh, reoperated on five of those patients uh, yesterday, and uh, they continue to improve. As of the 19 patients that are still in the hospital, two are considered uh, critical, 10 are serious, and seven are fair. We plan on reoperating on uh, about eight of these patients today, uh, and we are looking to discharge one or two of these patients uh, as well today. So things are moving along as expected, and the patients are doing well. Dr. Burke, how many required an amputation? We had, uh, as of today, uh, seven uh, amputations in five patients. And how do you tell someone that they're going to lose a limb? Well, you have to be honest with patients about that, and uh, it's a very difficult thing uh, for both the patients, especially, and their families and, uh, and the caregivers, but we just be honest. We do the best we can uh, with, uh, with this situation. These are injuries that we see, but never quite as in so not, not this many all at the same time. And they, they, the injuries are related to the, to the, to the device and the, and, the, and the form of trauma from, from fragments and the blast. We've taken out large quantities of, of, of pieces of things. It's hard to really uh, tell exactly what they are. They're all, we send them to the pathologist and they're available to the, uh, to the uh, police.